Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to the DZMC Gaming Channel. Uh, looks like we've drawn a uh, another opponent, Monkey General Shitter. I assume that's what that is. S H T R, Monkey General Shitter. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Let's see. I always get nervous the first turn. Wait, what? No. No. What? Hold on. That's my buy. That's good. That's four and two. Defenders lost two infantry. Soviet Union retreated caucus of two fighters and attackers lost three infantry, one artillery, one tank. So he would have had five units left to kill five units. Oh, that was a tough spot for him. I don't blame him, kind of in a way. Oh, but it gives me a bomber. I just it's an embarrassment of riches the last the first six games this season. Just I've been blessed with solid Germany openings. So this means now I can kill this and kill his planes and buy my destroyer like I normally do. Well, not normally, but I do only if I attack Europe. I don't buy the destroyer if I attack Transjordan. Um, oh boy. Heck, it actually even puts West Russia in play. I can bring five West Russia is probably out. And we're going to have to stack Ukraine. Because we're going to bring all of our planes to this battle. <sighs> Crazy. Um, it's average West Russia. So. Okay. Um, but, and again, the... Uh, Juggernaut was asking me, uh, why do I do the two-tank destroyer buy? And I go, well, I do the two-tank buy regardless. Um, first turn, Germany's first turn. And then we assess after that. Um, but I only buy the destroyer for, one, attacking Europe, and two, what it does is it tends to, especially when you put your guys here, it tends to shift the focus of the UK to the Med. Right, and by doing so, if they still want to go after that Japan and a KJF, it's going to be the U.S. is going to have to do it by themselves. And I've demonstrated for the first five games how easy that is to do, how easy that is to defend and still push Russia with the Japanese. So hopefully that's what that's what we want them to do. We'll see what they actually end up doing. He put his infantry here. That's good. Bailed out of Beresia. All in all, not good for the Russians. But let's do it. Buy a destroyer. Uh, two tanks and seven infantry. Um, he put his sub here, so we're going to put both subs here. I do not like to lose that battle. Uh, oh, I think. Oh, I think we just lost video. Sorry about that. That's fine. <laughs> uh, we are going to take one guy here, one guy there, go here, we're going to take just one guy for now, here, we're going to take this guy, actually no, not that guy, hold on, not him, not him, take this guy. And this guy. Back there. I'm going to bombard it. <clears throat> so that's, that's uh, six, uh, eight. Eight on eight. Eight on eight. Now we got to bring some planes. We 
want him here. We want him here, I think. So we're not going to send him. 11 on 8. If it doesn't go well, we back out. That's also cool. Oh, this guy. Wait. One, two, three, four. No. We want at least four planes here. Try that. Say anything? Okay, let's go. Oh, people start their game and they go offline right away. I hate that. This could actually work out pretty good. What is this anti-aircraft doing there? One, two, three. I can back out with three tanks. He'll be left with a fighter. Yeah, I think we're going to back out, actually. Sorry for taking so long on that. Otherwise, I'm exposing three tanks. They're just going to die to kill. Well, I've lost an infantry and an artillery. And what did I lose so far? lost any tanks. So infantry and two artilleries I've lost. He's lost four infantry, two tanks, and an air and an aircraft. I think I'm going to back out. I'm going to cheat. I think it makes the most sense. Establish a very, very strong German front. I mean, West Russia, Karelia are ours. Next turn. There you go. Six to seventy-five. Like that. All right. Now the question is: one guy can go here. And the rest is going to go here. Actually, here. He's going to go there too. We'll leave these two. Here. Oh, wait a minute. We want to max defend this.
Actually, let's go down here. We can't do it like that. Nope. an infantry already there. Be two infantry, four planes. I'll have this in there too. about that. <clears throat> That's the better move. And make sure we have um, any aircraft set to die first. Now we do. Good, good, good. Good. All right. All right. Oh. One forty nine to one eighty. Ooh. I think I just beat my record. It's about as good it can get for Germany, actually. <laughs> so he can't defend both. He can't defend the Caucasus and West Russia, so he has to pick one. Um, actually, it's even suspect that he could even defend the Caucasus. Well, he could. He's going to add four more. We have ten. He's, he might have to back out of both. We'll see what he does there. Um but again, a very good, healthy start for Germany. Uh, we're making the UK make decisions in the Pacific this way. Where do they feel the most pressure? Is it coming from here or is it coming from here? Um, but again, a terrible Ukraine for my opponent. That's happened at least three times I know of in games that I've played so far this season. And if Russia has a terrible Ukraine against an average player, they can recover. But against a better player, like me, <laughs> sorry, um, you can't get away with that. I'll punish you for it. You just, no way. I'll they'll, I'll put the the pressure is just going to keep coming and coming and coming, waves. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so who are we playing here anyway? Uh, Monkey General Shitter. SHTR. Monkey General SHTR. Okay. All 
All right, well, we'll call that a episode and uh, start of a brand new game. Lost the uh, video halfway through, but that's okay. We'll recover. I really got to get into a, maybe a more high capacity battery or something for this damn camera because it doesn't seem to last that long. But otherwise, uh, good start for me against uh, Monkey General Shitter. Uh, good luck to you, Monkey General. Uh, we'll see you on the, uh, on the other side. Peace.